Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Dustin. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. My channel is all about anything truck, anything vehicle, you got it. So stay tuned, we got some awesome content coming up. But today, what I want to talk to you guys about is my 2006 Silverado and give you the five reasons that I love this truck. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so reason number one that I love this truck is the color. And it's so funny because it seems like people either love this color or hate this color. Either get some nice compliments on it or people who just like, yeah, it doesn't do it for me. So this is the, uh, the green color and Chevy's had it for several years. I think they're still doing it on the Silverados. But the really cool thing about it is right now, it's, you gotta admit, it's kinda dark in here. I'm shooting this in my garage because it's too windy outside. Didn't wanna get you guys in, in on that wind noise. But it's pretty dirty. We just got done with some snow not too long ago. So of course there's a little bit of salt all over it. I just haven't had the chance to clean it up. But uh, that's kind of the cool thing about it. Even though the paint is kind of dirty and has a little bit of a dull color, it still looks pretty good for a dark color. So I like that about it. However, and I'll see if I can add in one of, add in a picture that is of this truck shined up. It has a really nice metallic flake to it. So, you know, if it's kind of dark, overcast and the truck hasn't been cleaned real good, it looks kind of flat like it is now. But once you get it shined up, buffed and waxed, and, uh, you know, nice and clean with a nice sunny day, boy, it looks sharp, really sparkles and whatnot. Like I say, I'll try to find you guys a picture to add right after this clip here. All right, so on to the second thing that I love about this pickup. It's the 5.3 liter V8. Chevy's been, whoop. Sure, you guys don't want to hear me talking over that dinging. So, the 5.3 liter V8s they've had in these trucks for a long time now. Uh, super reliable, uh, pretty good performance. You can do a few different mods. I had a cold air intake in here. However, I took it out because I'm fixing to sell this truck. We're going to get something new to the channel here. So, be sure to stay tuned for that. It's uh, something newer, more exciting. You guys are going to like it if you're a Chevy fan, I promise. But uh, these 5.3s, they are solid. And, uh, you know, if you ever do have issues with them, parts are readily available. They're easy to work on. You know, everybody I know pretty much likes these 5.3s. Uh, kind of a cool thing about this one here is it being an 06 in an extended cab, as you can see. What they did just on this year model, the 06 with the extended cabs, is some of them had what was called the L33 engine. And the L33 engine, or the Vortec high output, now don't get this confused with the, um, I think it's the Vortec Max, the, yeah, the Vortec Max in the 6.0s, that's not what this is, but this one here is actually uh, the high output 5.3, it had a different cam in it, as well as an aluminum block, so it was about 100 pounds lighter than your typical 5.3. And it put out a little bit more horsepower. I mean, we're not talking a ton, but nonetheless, put out a little bit more horsepower and a little more torque than your typical 5.3. Of course, with these new ones, these 2014s and up, uh, it can't hold a candle to them. But yeah, super good engine, super solid. I haven't had hardly any problems out of this guy here. So moving on to the third thing that I love about this truck. Let's jump inside, it's inside. Oh, I'll close the door so it's not dinging on you guys, and hopefully it is light enough in my garage. But, and this is, keep in mind, you know, you're seeing a lot of this on newer and newer vehicles. So it's, it's old technology at this point, but the digital climate control, man, it's awesome. This is the first vehicle I've ever had with that. And, uh, you know, once you turn it on, oops, better turn off the radio. But once you get it turned on, you just dial in whatever temperature you want. And based on the outside temperature and... Uh, what the temperature is inside, it adjusts to where it thinks it needs to blow, how hard it needs to blow to get your cabin to, let's say, 75 degrees. And then also your passenger can adjust their side. So if they want theirs hot, you want yours cold, you can do that. Like I say, that's probably kind of a silly one to some people, but, you know, uh, I think with these newer trucks and especially newer cars, you know, these creature comforts, we just take it for granted. And, you know, this to me was definitely a luxury in this truck. All right, moving on to number four. Fourth thing that I love about this truck is the hood on it. The hood is absolutely awesome. The, um, I think this is the HD hood. Whoop, let's let that car go by so you guys can hear me. Anywho, this right here is the HD hood. It's a little bit different than most cat eyes that you see. 
in that they put it on the 05, 06, and 07 classic um, 2500 models. And then on the 06 and 07 classic, they ended up putting them on the 1500 model. Basically, I'll bring you guys up close so you can see. But what you get is, so here's where the hood starts right here. You get this nice aggressive curve that goes all the way up here. And you won't be able to see it real well on the front. Oh, that's not a bad angle right there. But where the bug shield is, if you take this off, I mean, the hood's raised a lot higher than it is over on this side. It just looks really aggressive, really mean. And that's one reason that I wanted an 06 versus the uh, 03 through 05, is I like this aggressive hood style. And also on the front end, the there's a split between the headlight here where this used to be part of the grill. It looks a little bit different. These are typically color matched or black to your pickup, depending on the pack package that you have. Uh, whereas the 03 through 05, the grill just ran all the way over here and you had a chrome strip. So that's one reason that I got the 06. And that's something you guys might think about if you're looking at the 1500 package, is how the front end looks along with the hood that's on it. And now for reason five of why I love my 06 Silverado so much is the front end itself, the cat eye body style. I remember, you know, being in high school, it's been a few years back now, but when these came out, I thought, man, these are just awesome looking, super aggressive. Uh, some people, it's either a love or hate relationship. Some people really love the cat eye style. Some people really hate them. They preferred the older body style. Uh, the, nothing wrong with the older body style, the uh, 99 through 02s. You know, they look great. I like them. But uh, the cat eye, man, for me is where it's at. Just looks a lot more aggressive. Kind of almost has an angry look the way it slopes down in the front. But so far, besides the, I would say, the newer pickups, the 14s and up, this is my favorite front end that Chevy has ever done. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I never have cared for probably heard a couple of people's feelings, but I never have cared for the uh, the 07 through 13 Chevy front end. They just look bubbly and kind of feminine to me, which there's nothing wrong if that's what you like, but it just wasn't for me. But there's reason number five. All right, guys, if you like this video and want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot. It'll help us support the channel, help it grow, and we'll be able to do some more cool stuff in the future. And be sure to leave a like on the video. Thanks for watching, guys.